Okay, so we're going to make a wire armature for our people in motion that are going to be paper mache So first thing you need to do is get the wire, wrap it down there. Um, it needs to be about six feet tall. That's about as tall as I am. I've got it marked out. You can measure it out. Um, I have about a six foot long wingspan. So if I go like this, I know that this is about six feet. Um, the tables are about five feet long. So if you make it a foot ruler length, um, longer than the table, you'll have it. So then you're going to take these ends, you're going to line them up. You want to keep things symmetrical. So you're going to fold it. You're going to take it like this. You're going to make like a little blow pop sized loop twist. Um, so it'll be about like that. You should be able to fit a couple fingers inside of there. Um, I like to make a bit of a lollipop stick because you're going to be stuffing this. And when you make your nice, um, your body, it's going to grow in size. So this is a skeleton. Um, so now I'm going to go like this. Boop. And I want about this same length on either side. Ish. I'm gonna twist. Like that. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side, but I want it to be even. So I'm gonna kind of go like this first so I can see. That way when I put it over here, it will be approximately symmetrical. It's, has to be similar, okay? Similar length. Doesn't have to be perfect. Nothing is ever perfect. So um, then I'm going to kind of wrap it. I'm gonna take my end, if you see what I'm doing here, I'm gonna feed it down through. So now my one wire is gonna kind of be out here. I like to wrap it just because it gives you a little more heft, a little more strength, a little more reinforcement for structural stability. We're thinking engineering. Take your time, okay? Take your time to do it correctly. Um, this body section from... Good morning. Shall we ride with this? Obviously, I'm doing this. Hold on. All right, back to our schedule program. Um, in body proportion, you have your head and then you have another head length. The shoulders are about halfway between that. And then another head length down is your waist. So I am making a little triangle here. That's the rib cage. I'm gonna twist. Twisty twist, twisty twist, twisty twist. Okay, so this part is my rib cage here. It's gonna be built up. Then, so I've got one, two, three is where my waist is. Okay, right about here. This part here is gonna be from my pelvis. So I'm gonna do the same thing I did for the shoulders. I'm not looking in the right spot because I'm looking at myself, but. Um, twist. Okay. Similar again, making symmetrical. Want this the same on both sides. Okay. Twisty twist. Should be about the same. If it's not, you can kind of, now it's a little hippie. Um, this side's a little bit longer than the other, so I'm gonna kind of twist it a little bit. So now I'm gonna put this through here. I'm gonna do the same thing over here. That gives me a little more structural stability. Okay, so now my little skeleton has legs, okay? Um, your leg length, when you like sit down, or if you try to like touch your toes, 
okay? Um, your feet are gonna be just slightly longer than the head, so I'm gonna like this. And again, you want them similar. You wanna be symmetrical. So I've got now these little jobbies. Okay, should be about the same-ish. Uh, I'm gonna twist. So now I've got this. Okay, my feet. Boopity boop boop. Okay, I have no arms. All right. So now I need arms. My wire's still on the floor. Boop. Now you need about three feet. So I'm going to go halfway. Okay. Um, fold in half. Um, if I want my arms to dangle, what I can do is literally just make a little loop here. And my little arms will dangle. You can also do that with the legs. Instead of having it folded through and just coming down, you can make them dingle dangly. <laughs> like the little gymnast person, for my example. Um, so if I want this to dangle, I can literally fold a hand down here below the thigh level where the pelvis is. Your hands go in your pockets down here, so they have to be longer. So if I want this to be a dangly arm, I can cut that. I can also um, reinforce it and like um, keep rolling it up. But you can kind of see, what did I, what did I do? <laughs> um, that's not what I meant to cut. Anyway, so I'm gonna make um, an arm that has a dangly elbow now. I'd love to say that was purposeful, it was not. Um, so my little, hand is still there. I still want it to line up with the, uh, below the hip. So I'm going to cut about an inch above, half an inch above. Okay. I'm going to bend over a little loop. So it'll hang like a little Christmas ornament. Okay. Just like that. And now he's got a dingly dangly arm. I can't believe I did that. Um, so I'm just gonna make another one. See, I was meant to show you how to make dangling arms. That's that's the reason, I'm totally gonna go with that. Um, so again, I want this to be symmetrical. So I'm gonna look at over there, I'm gonna cut it just slightly longer, fold my little loop here. Okay. It is similar. It might not be exactly the same, but it's pretty close. Close-ish. It's very ish. Okay. Then I'm going to make another little Christmas hangery loop. Boop. Boop. Bring this together. I'm going to cut it long so that I can make this so I'm holding these so that they are of similar length. Wrap this around. And I should now have two dingly dangly arms that I can then wrap and paper mache. So this is solid legs, dingle dangly arms that you can position. You can do it with legs too. You can also make solid length arms. You do want to make sure that the hands go below this hip line. So that, look over here, is my spiel. Okay, wire armatures.